So what is a pretrial motion? As the name implies, it's a motion that happens during the pretrial phase. A motion is simply a formal request that the judge order something. Examples of common motions in a criminal case include discovery motions, where you're trying to force the prosecutor to turn over additional evidence that they haven't given you yet. Or a special type of discovery motion called a pitches motion, which is where you're trying to get information from the law enforcement officer's personnel file to see if anybody's made complaints against them for dishonesty, racial bias, or excessive force. Another example of the pretrial motion is the motion to suppress evidence. This is where you seek to eliminate evidence that you believe was wrongfully obtained. This can be a very powerful motion, since if it's successful, that evidence doesn't get to come in at all, and that usually means that the entire case gets thrown out after the defense makes another motion, a motion to dismiss the case. The point of all of these different pretrial motions is to either gain information to strengthen the defendant's case or weaken the prosecution's, and to leverage either dismissal of the charges entirely or more favorable settlement terms. Pretrial motions are vitally important, since the entire shape of the case can change based on how those motions turn out. If you're facing criminal charges, we know you're going through a challenging time. On behalf of everyone here at the Kavanoki Law Firm, we hope this information helps you.